Hello, my name is Mark Boissonneau with Tradesman Heating and Air Conditioning here in my hometown of Winnipeg. We get a number of questions from our clients when we're in their homes. The question I will be answering in this video is what size of furnace do I really need? In Winnipeg, uh, dating back to, you know, when furnaces were first being installed in, in track homes, uh, the builders would always play it on the safe side and provide you know, a, not only a furnace that would heat the home safely to minus 40 degrees, which is very much expected here in Winnipeg, um, but they'd just go a, a little bit bigger and sometimes quite a bit bigger to be on the safe side. The cost of the equipment really wasn't a whole lot more, so it was a, a pretty much of a no-brainer for them to, to, to offer. Um, problem with that is, you know, when you've got a furnace that's too big, it, 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 the cycle doesn't, isn't long enough and you, uh, it, it ends up heating the home too quickly and, and you cause you know, comfort issues. Plus, you're using more energy, more heat energy, gas, uh, than is required. The size that you should have, uh, you, know, you need to consider you know, what has happened in that home over time since that the going by the furnace that was in there is definitely a mistake because it very much could be oversized. It probably is. Um, Looking at the history, you know, from then until now, what's happened in your home? Have you upgraded your windows? Have you added any, uh, any more rooms onto the house in addition? Have you insulated your basement? Um, all of these things, uh, you know, that could, could affect the heat loss of the house uh, and, and cause it to be more efficient allows for to have less heating required to, to heat your home. So having a smaller furnace, uh, is going to be a benefit because it's going to give you a better cycling effect in your house. You have less temperature swings. You're not going to be burning that extra heat and getting that big blast of heat when you really don't need it. Um, so, um, you know, trying to put a number to what you might specifically need. Every house is different. Uh, the square footage. There are some companies that'll give you, you know, use a rule of thumb and give you so many square feet per BTU. Um, we don't like to go there, uh, you know, the, it, it's, it's really guesswork if you're, if you're going that route. So my suggestion would be to have uh, somebody that knows, has experience, that knows what they're doing, to come in your home, have a look around and have the discussion about, uh, you know, what's been done in the home, what, you're, what you've ended up with. Your lifestyle also comes a little bit into play. Um, you know, what you expect out of your furnace uh, as far as how fast it'll recover. Um, if you're planning on adding an addition, you may want to, you know, bring that into the picture so that you've got a little bit more capacity for that addition that might come down the road. Um, I hope you got some value from this video. Please uh, like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Uh, if you have any questions on heating and air conditioning or any comfort issues for that matter, please enter it in the comments below. You can reach us at 888-2020 or visit us on our website at tradesmandrcool.com.